In this video, I'm going to attempt to make the Uya hot air station a little less annoying. It has two little problems, quirks that I'm not too crazy about. The first one being that the on-off switch is in the back. And when I have it mounted up with the rest of my equipment, I'm, it's really not going to be easy to reach around and shut it off. Uh, the second thing that's kind of annoying is when you do shut it off, it forgets its settings. So I'm going to try to do one modification that will fix both of those problems. So this is what I did. The switch in the back is still pretty much untouched. It's still the master switch. So when it's off, it kills everything. But what I wanted to do here is give it like a standby mode. It has like a software off, but I also wanted it to have a hardware off. Uh, just feel safer that way so there's no way it can accidentally kick the heater and pump on when I don't want it to. So what I did is I just ran uh, I, I cut free the wire that ran to this board. This is the board that controls the heater and the pump. And I ran it through the switch and then back to the board. So now you can still use it as normal. You turn it on, you see it's starting to heat up. And you can still shut it off and let it do its cool down. And once it gets to about 90, it will shut off. So now if I kill the power going to the pump and heater, uh, if I do turn it on without this on, all it does is just display the temperature of the of the the wand, the heater, but you can see it's still it's still climbing down, it's still dropping. So now if I just kick this on, it will just go ahead and start up. But now um, now that it has like a standby mode and we let this cool down again. So now it will, when I turn it back on, it will remember its temp and pump, and I feel much safer um, with the hardware off rather than just a software off. So now it has like a, a standby. Uh, also, I'm going to run a uh, like a Pico fuse in line with the transformer. Um, I know it's already fused in the back, but uh, I believe that's a 10 amp fuse in this transformer really doesn't need that large of a fuse. Uh, it, being that this is going to be left on for most of the time, I'd feel safer with a more appropriately sized fuse for just the transformer, while the tan amp will still be used for the high wattage parts. Here's the Pico fuse in line with the transformer. Correction on the fuse size, it comes with a 15 amp fuse in here. So if there was going to be a problem that caused a short on the board, and if this transformer were to go to meltdown mode, and if this transformer shorted out it would have to blow a 15 amp fuse to protect itself with these small wires so I feel a lot safer adding this Pico fuse in line just in case something were to go wrong this is a 5 amp but you could get by with probably even a 1 amp it's only an 8 watt transformer here it is complete with the front mounted hardwired off and standby switch now if you're going to do this modification make sure that your switch is rated for at least 15 amps this switch here is a uh, two pole with 16 amp contacts on each side. They're wired in parallel, so this switch here is good for over 30 amps. So it's going to blow the breaker before anything bad happens. Also, make sure you use heavy enough wiring. Uh, 